Okay, we're back, and I have driven this lovely 2006 Nissan Pathfinder with about 136,000 miles on it. Still runs real nice, nice and smooth. It's running right now, and you can barely hear it. I got the AC on max air, max pressure, max fan, max everything, max headroom. If you get that reference, then you're probably about as old as I am. Um, got the fans speeds as high as they can go. And I, after taking this thing for a short test drive, can definitely notice the difference. I've driven this thing maybe about a mile and a half away from where I live to the local reservoir. You can see the lovely reservoir back here. And I was hoping to see maybe some ducks or maybe see some fish in the pond, but, uh, you know, I'm just not seeing any right now. It must be a little too warm for them. There's something out there out in the distance. Not sure if you can see that. Maybe it's the Loch Ness Monster. See if I can zoom in on that mad bad boy. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom. What does that look like to you? If I can hold my cam steady here. I'm not the steadiest person. That's about as much max zoom as I can get. I have no idea what that thing is. I've never seen that in the reservoir before. So who knows what that world, what in the world that thing is. Send me your comments in below. Tell me what it is. Uh, did I find a USO? Is it the Reservoir Monster? Maybe I have to get that uh, River Monsters guy out here to catch it and see what it is. Uh, it's fairly large, whatever that is. Maybe it's a buoy or of some kind, because we're close to the dock here, so maybe that's a little warning unit for being close to the dock. Anyway, back to what's important. Me, of course and this lovely Nissan Pathfinder. Um, it's, I can feel a big, huge difference even after this short little test drive in the coolness of the air coming out of it. It is, it is cold air coming out of there now. Uh, may not be as, as good as it can be. There was a little tiny bit left on the valve that wasn't quite filled up. So, I mean, technically, I guess we could go get another bottle and top it off. But it's a major improvement from where it was. I mean, it's actually cooling me down, whereas before it was, nah. It was about, you know, having the windows down on a, you know, 80 degree day. It'll help a little bit, but not much. Um, but it's much better now. So mission accomplished, and that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video series and these parts. And, uh, you know, as little repair jobs come my way, or little maintenance issues, um, I'll be adding more to here. I got a car that I'm getting ready to get rid of, and it hasn't started in a while, so I am getting ready to, uh, tri I've trickle charged up the battery, I'm getting ready to throw it in the car, see if I can get it to start up and run, because, you know, it's an older car, it's a 1994 Honda Civic with only 93,000 miles on it, those engines last forever, but, uh, you know, that's where the value of the car is, and you know, the person buying it, if they can hear that engine run, uh, as smooth as it does, even for its age, um, you know, that's going to sell itself. Now, the body has seen better days, but the interior car still works. Everything on it still works. It's an LX model, so that's the 103 horsepower engine. It's not the VTEC. It's not the Type R engine. But, you know, it, it it's a little peppy still, and it corners real well, especially since it's got brand new tires on it and everything. Uh, I was getting ready to put that thing back on the road, but, you know, things happen, and, uh, it became cost prohibitive, prohibitive to do so. So it's had all of the structural things, mechanical things, taking care of tires, brakes, uh, brake reservoir repair, because they started to leak, so I repaired those. I didn't want to have any problems with it when I put it back on the road. It's had a timing belt replaced on it, water pump, radiator. The transmission's been rebuilt uh, all around s between 60 and 70,000 miles. Um, the engines are bulletproof, but that era of Hondas are known for uh, sketchy torque converters, and I was definitely having a transmission problem in the fourth gear, where it just wouldn't shift into fourth gear anymore, or overdrive. So, I had to uh, get it repaired, and usually the repairs last a way bit longer than the original re uh, transmissions does. So, that car has got a lot of life back in it. I would love to see somebody get some use out of it, because I can't. It it doesn't deserve to just sit in the driveway and rust to pieces, and that's kind of 
it's it's getting to that stage where it's like if I don't do something soon, if I don't get rid of it and get it to somebody that can care for it and get some use out of it, it's just gonna sit there and rot, and it doesn't deserve that. It's got too many good parts on it. It's got a lot of life left in that engine, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and end that video now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back to the house, check out that battery, see how the charge is on it, and uh, if it's successful, uh, I'll make a video on that. Talk to you later.